We're here with Terrell Copley, the Student Association President at Student New Falls. Terrell, um, what's been going on here today? Can you tell us? Uh, well, right now, um, NYSO organized our New York Students Rising, which is a, a, a state collective of students that are against budget cuts, um, organized this event to pretty much raise awareness about what the budget is happening and how it's affecting students all over a statewide um, field. And what we talked about today specifically um, was addressing how the budget really affects New Paul students. Um, I, I facilitated a workshop of how the budget is allocated um, specifically um, to New Paul's campus, how the budget is broken up, tuition fees, where state tax taxpayer money comes from, as well as where student money goes and how the tuition raised $300 um, progressively for the next five years. Also, I wanted to um, build community and get students involved and understand that they have a voice and that they can get involved in the student government to let them know that um, they can be the change they want to see. Uh, how often do we have uh, walk-ins, walk teach-ins, or protests like this on campus these days? Well, this is not something that you want to do frequently because you don't want students to actually leave their classes because the point of us being here has students for us to facilitate the whole class. So last semester we had a walkout where we got at least 2,000 people to um, fill the sub NPR. Um, and we had several workshops going on at one time. This this year, because it was so sudden, because it was a statewide thing, like we got a little, we got a smaller turnout, but it's still on a larger scale because it's happening at several schools. So um, we usually do stuff like this at least one time a semester, but we're trying to get it more progressive stuff to keep things going. Just because we have one or two events doesn't mean that things won't continually change. So that we're trying to get students, we're trying to have one or two huge events so that we get students involved so they can keep doing stuff on smaller scales. Uh, how would you describe the uh, student to relationship with the administration this year? Um, this year it's much better. Um, I, I represent the students. Um, we have a student senate which is composed of 25 students elected at large. And we have an executive board which is um, also students elected at large. And we um, talk close to the administration. And I also talk to students about voicing their concerns. So if they hear something, if they see something on campus that they don't, they don't like, I'll report it directly to um, Ray Schwartz or Mike Patterson or President Don Christian. So. And um, what do you think of the turnout today? Do you think it's uh, too low, too high, or just right? It's always just right. If we get one person um, to be more educated about what's going on, then that's, that's more than enough. Um, today, a really substantial amount of people came out, especially because it wasn't able to be advertised. Um, people just found out about this two weeks ago, one week ago, or even today. So the fact that anybody showed up is a miracle to me. And the fact that one person or two people or several people, we have at least 30 people that learned stuff that they didn't know before. So I think the turnout was miraculous. Okay, and um, tell us a little bit about what, what you're studying here, what your uh, class rank is. Oh, um, right now I'm a senior. Um, this is my fifth year. I'm studying graphic design and black studies double major. No matter. Yeah, that's awesome. Love black studies. It's the best thing ever. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York.